हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ सेकंड चैप्टर फोर्स एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशन फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ एंड इन दिस चैप्टर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फोर्स एंड इट्स यूनिट यू आर आर नोइंग फ्रॉम योर प्रीवियस कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम सिक्स एंड एट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड सेवेंथ इन सेवेंथ ऑल्सो गिवेन फोर्स मीन्स वॉट जनरली पुस आर पुल वैन देर इज एन इफेक्ट एंड इफेक्ट इज जस्ट इन केस ऑफ आइदर पुलिंग आर पुसिंग देन दैट इफेक्ट इज सेट टू बी वॉट फोर्स एंड फोर्स इज ए वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी एंड इट्स यूनिट इज ए न्यूटन दीज टर्म्स यू आर आर नोइंग बट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फोर्स इन स्पेशल कंडीशंस Now see what is the concept of force. The chapter is second is force and laws of motion. Force and laws of motion. This is second chapter. A class nine physics, and in this chapter the first concept is. डेफिनेशन ऑफ फोर्स जनरली इन सिंपल वे आइर पुश आर पुल पुश आर पुल ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट डिफाइंड है फोर्स बट दिस इज द नॉर्मल कॉन्सेप्ट एवरी वन मूविंग बट इन स्पेसिफाइड कंडीशन वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फोर्स दैट इज डिफरेंट यू विल डिफाइंड द फोर्स इन द टर्म्स ऑफ फाइव इन्फ्लुएंसेज आर फाइव इफेक्ट आर फाइव कंडीशंस and you have to learn about what are the five conditions and what are the five conditions importance it is very easy and very very useful in real life so concept of force force is an external effect external ah uh, internal in some cases effect or influence that may the following condition or situation number 1 force can make the stationary object in motion force can make the stationary object object in motion suppose for this condition how we can define Suppose a ball is rest, then by applying force, just like kick, kicking. When we applying a kick on the ball or football, and when a small ball, then we applying force by hitting with bat. Then the ball, either by hitting bat or football, by kicking with legs, then the body is in motion. And the concept of motion, that is what. changing its position from rest to movement and this one on behalf of the force a force can make the stationary object in movement or motion second a force can make the moving object in rest make the moving 
ऑब्जेक्ट इन रेस्ट सपोज बॉल इज जस्ट कमिंग टू वर्ड्स जस्ट लाइक इन केस ऑफ कैचिंग वेन ए प्लेयर कैच इज वॉल देन द मूवमेंट ऑफ बॉल वेन एवर कमिंग टू वर्ड्स द प्लेयर देन प्लेयर्स वॉट अप्लाइंग फोर्स टू मेक द बॉल इन रेस्ट कंडीशन सो सेकेंड कंडीशन ऑल्सो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फोर्स फर्स्ट कंडीशन एज लाइक नाउ थर्ड ए फोर्स कैन चेंज द स्पीड ऑफ ए मूविंग बॉडी द स्पीड ऑफ ए मूविंग बॉडी फोर्स कैन चेंज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मूविंग बॉडी एंड लास्ट वन द फोर्स कैन चेंज the shape and size of a body yes see the force third condition here force can change the speed of a moving body suppose a ball is just moving and when you apply external force initial condition ball is moving with initial speed and when you applying a force by making hit With sticks, just like in case of hockey game, then the ball speed will be what increases. Just reverse of this also true. Whenever the ball moving towards yourself and you are just applying a force to make the ball in rest condition, just like in rest condition the speed becomes what decreases. It means the speed of body decreases. Whenever the speed changes, then there is also a concept of force. And the fourth. A force can change the direction of a moving body. Suppose you are going straight, and suddenly in front there is a wall and there is a turning. Then you are applying a force with the help of handle, holding with hands. And then there is a concept of force in take turning. And then you may able to take turn. And that's why in case of turning, there is always concept of couple of force. and whenever the turning along a circular path then there is a concept of centripetal force but always a concept of force available whenever there is a change in direction and next one a force can change the shape and size shape means what just like spherical shape rectangular shape and cubical shape that is the arrangement of atoms and molecule gives the structure of shape but size how much Length, how much breadth, and how much height of the given body that gives what condition of size. Just like in case of rubber ball, when we applying force, then the ball size will be changed, and shape will also damage. Then, with the help of force, we can change the shape and size both. Just like in case of iron ball, whenever available, then by hitting continuously, we can also change the size and shape of iron ball with a suitable amount of force. so these are the five conditions that is very essential for defining force and whenever force is available then any one out of these five can be happen and here can be happen means what just like whenever sufficient force is applied then the particular condition will be possible there is no chance of may or may be but always will be then after force unit of force unit of force unit of force very simple by using formula we will discuss the derivation of formula in next lecture but by using formula we can understand about the concept of unit of force formula 
एफ इज इक्वल टू एम ए मास यूनिट दैट इज किलोग्राम एसोसिएशन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर तो एस आई यूनिट किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर आर न्यूटन न्यूटन इज हॉर्वेबल यूनिट एंड वी हैव ऑफ सर एज एट न्यूटन वो जस्ट डिस्कवर्ड द लॉ ग्रेविटेशन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स एंड वी हैव ऑफ दैट ऑन आर कॉन्सेप्ट द यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स ऑन हिज नेम दैट इज एवरी वन नोइंग न्यूटन बट एस आई यूनिट वेन एवर आस्क देन यू हैव टू राइट आइर किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर आर न्यूटन बोथ आर करेक्ट बट इन सी जी एस यूनिट सी जी एस इसे एस आई यूनिट आर एम के एस यूनिट बोथ हैविंग सेम कॉन्सेप्ट बट इन सी जी एस यूनिट दैट इज ग्राम सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर आर डाइन एंड रिलेशन बिटवीन न्यूटन एंड डाइन relation between newton and dyne one newton is equal to what one newton is equal to same as we have previous concept 1 kg meter per second square 1 kg meter per second square but 1 kg is equal to what 1000 g and 1 meter is equal to हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर सो ओवरऑल थाउजेंड इंटू हंड्रेड दैट इज वन लैक ग्राम सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर सो वन लैक मीन स्क्वायर दैट इज टेन पावर फाइव एंड ग्राम सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर दैट इज डाइन सो वन न्यूटन इज इक्वल टू टेन पावर फाइव नाइन वेरी सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिलेशन देन आफ्टर यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्स दैट इज बेसिकली टू टाइप्स बैलेंस एंड अनबैलेंस फोर्सेस एंड एक्सेप्ट दीज टू टाइप्स ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आदर कॉन्टेक्ट आर विदाउट कॉन्टेक्ट there are also two types of forces contact forces and without contact forces in some cases the forces contact are clear but in some cases forces contact are not clear suppose you are pushing a wall then there is a contact force but whenever body is dropping from height just body is just going downward then there is no contact but the force is acting then there is non contact are without contact forces so we will discuss about types of forces in both the way in next lecture for this lecture only one the force concept either previous knowledge push or pull of an object is defined force but in this way in the terms of five influences force is an external or internal in some case internal effect or influence That makes the following conditions. A force can make the exercise object in motion condition. Suppose body is in rest, then after applying force, the body is in motion. And just opposite, when a body is in motion, then by applying force, the body comes in rest condition. Just like if you are riding, and suppose in front of you a wall is available, then by applying brakes, you can control the. speed and when we control the speed then the body will be what comes in rest condition so there are following five conditions and after this following con five conditions the unit concept of force by using formula that is what f is equal to ma and this f is equal to ma we will derive in later lecture but i think nearly third lecture we will derive this one very easy formula but unit with the help of this formula mass unit that is kilogram and acceleration unit meter per second square so kilogram meter per second square r in honorable term that is newton but whenever si concept is given then exact will be this one kilogram meter per second square and this one only one honorable units so series unit same as 
gram centimeter per second square and time the relation between both one unit is equal to how many times so one unit is equal to one kilogram meter per second square and one kilogram is equal to thousand gram and meter means hundred centimeter and then second square will be same so thousand into hundred means what one lakh and one lakh can be written in the form of ten power that is five and this ten power five means what in the terms of time so one unit is equal to ten power five time so that's enough for this lecture thank you so much